Hey swimmers, welcome to the Sunvice channel. This segment is titled Ask Coach Mandy where I will answer specific questions posted by my newsletter subscribers to help with your swim training. Now, before I get into detail, if you're new to this channel, welcome and thank you for your support. Be sure to hit the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner so you're notified every week with new videos to help with your swim training. So the question is all about open water swimming. Coach Mandy, how do I maintain control in choppy conditions? All right, this is an awesome question and something that many of you are struggling with when you're training out in open water. Now, one of the reasons why is you may not be used to choppy water, and it's one thing to prioritize actually training in worse conditions than the swims that you are preparing for to help you become more comfortable with it. Now, in order to handle chop is that your form has to be hardwired in. Think about your form in the pool, what you work on in terms of posture, stability, timing, all of those pieces have to be hardwired even more so for choppy water. And how that happens is increasing your tempo out of the water just enough, but also maintaining your timing out front. So I'm gonna go through some of these key points in this video moving forward. Okay, so the key points to practice is number one, sighting properly. You wanna keep your sighting quick and avoiding lifting your torso too high. This will help you decrease the amount of resistance that you're fighting against because with choppy water, it's already so much resistance that you want to decrease as much as you can. So where you actually sight is at the peak of the wave and you breathe in the trough of the wave. This will help you maintain your balance and avoid moving side to side when you're out in choppy water. So I have a quick demonstration of siding out in up in water so you can see those key points put into practice. So you can see here that I keep my head low and quick, siding very briefly and keeping my head low for the breath. The key is to keep it quick and keeping your head independently lifted out to sight. So the second key point is to keep your posture straight. You can do this by slightly increasing your tempo as well as keeping your breathing quick just as you prioritize with quickly sighting. This will help you stay straight and avoid choppy water moving you around side to side. Now the important point with tempo is that you have to increase it, but it must be sustainable. So you don't want your arms spinning so quickly out in open water that you end up fighting resistance. You want it to, you want to ramp up your tempo just slightly higher so that way you can drive through the chop. And my last point to prioritize out in chopping conditions is to stay low. You may think or have the reflex to stay on the surface of the water, but you want to drive into the chop versus fighting on the surface. You're going to end up moving side to side and all over and the water is going to take control of your swim when you maintain on the surface of the water versus driving into the chop. So you wanna stay low, keep your breathing quick, and of course, picking up your tempo to a sustainable rate. All right, swimmers, I hope you enjoyed today's episode, especially for those that are training for open water. Now, if you want to participate in this, subscribe to our newsletter at swimvice.com, where you have the opportunity to post your questions every month, and they may be in future videos. All right, swimmers, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and good luck with your practice, and I will see you all next week.